business do you run? Um, and why did you start it? We are together. Don't, don't stress. Talk to me. Talk to me. Me. Yeah. yeah. Talk to me. Hi, I'm Lebohang Ramuneta. I'm the founder and managing director of Chemix. Chemix. Yes, we manufacture natural cleaning products, mm -hmm. organic cosmetics, essential oils, and organic capsules. Ah, okay. I'm from Mangueng. The reason why I started my business is because I wanted to help improve the health and well-being of people. I wanted to create employment opportunities, mm -hmm. and I wanted to take myself out of poverty. Okay. Yes. So, before you started the business, what was happening in your life? I studied chemical engineering. Mm. I looked for a job. I worked for less than two years in my life. Then I started my business. Mm. Mm. So, you qualified as an engineer. There's no work. You decide, I'm starting this thing. Yes. Okay. And how does it go? Okay, My when I started, then, oh, mm. yes, I didn't have much because I come from a humble, uh, from humble origins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I had to use uh, my savings; it wasn't enough. I started my business. I went to Bulukani Municipality. They gave me stalls where I was putting raw materials, and I was producing my products there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I also had an, an office there. Then I managed to employ three people who were working with me there. Mm. Yes. Then after that, how long did it take you to start and employ three people? I started in twenty. It was in twenty sixteen. Mm -hmm. Then I, because some two were my relatives. Mm. Yeah. Then I started with them immediately. Then I added another one. Then I worked there. And before, actually, when after having three people. I realized that uh, I needed to go and get another space so that I can create uh, oh, so opportunities for, yeah, for mm. other e entrepreneurs. Mm. So I rented somewhere. I was able to uh, do business there. Mm -hmm. We were able to make profit till we were able to em e employ eight people. Eight? Yes. And so 2016, you start, then you employ three people. Yes, and then, then you by 2019, I was having eight employees eight, eight, yes okay. full time full time employees mm. yes then okay uh the uh, the customers most of my cu uh, customers were schools mm. then they we were able to make enough profit mm -hmm. so you know as an entrepreneur if you sometimes uh, when you start a business and you sort of know I've started this thing mm. and you never thought you will grow a business uh, start it from scratch and it be like that. Mm. So I was very excited and said, okay, then I can start to attend events, conferences, you know, I want to be like other uh, mm. top entrepreneurs. Mm. Yeah, then mm. okay. that's when I started to go out. I was using business money. I was booking myself uh, flights, hotels. Where were you going? I was going to Cape Town, Devon. I was just going to any event. I thought I needed to network. Expo I needed yeah, to up, but they say, uh, go out there, network. I'm like, I didn't mm, have a shot. I'm Any going. invitation, I'll just accept. Then I didn't know. Uh, my baby was still small. My business was still yeah. small. I was supposed to make sure it grow. Uh, then, mm. uh, so before, you were 10? Yeah, that was my initial plan, that to do all those things. I was not able to separate. No, no, uh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay. No, don't rush. <laughs> okay. So... You hear there's a what what to Cape Town. Yeah. Mm. You have been have you ever been into a plane or you were like, Oh, I'm going. No, the first time I was in a plane I had to be taken uh, there by using like tell their business. It was yes. business that took me there for the mm. first time in a plane. Give it to tell their business to do that. I thought maybe entrepreneurs for survival like that. Mm. Yeah. So you go to Cape Town, you get there, there's a conference. Yeah, on the conference, on the Sometimes we were only the, the first time I was going for a week, nearly uh, something. Uh, then got like that thing a week. Then, but I didn't win. Mm. But Nagi is sponsored to to that event. Okay. Yeah. So Mara So what happens in Cape Town? So you attend the event. There is waterfront VNA. There's shops there. 
Yeah, and when you attend there, to be honest, like you know, you've got other entrepreneurs, but very those iPhones and everything. Luana, hey, you want to look the part. Hey, then, it's important. Hey, mm. Then you start to say, hey, okay, let me buy something. This is Martiniana. Yeah. yeah. That's when I could give my, my blunders to give you yeah. as an entrepreneur. So, so you attend these things, you are using business money. Yes. To look the part. Yeah. Because you look at others, they look the part. Yeah. And you also want to be like them. Like them, our business is really So, what happens to the one. finances of the business? So, what happened, Corey? Uh, okay, the business is hmm. like immediately one place. Mm. Yeah. Then, but Maybe before we get there, mm. where did you go? Okay, Kuri, after that, business is a holy, Mara enough profit. Where yeah. did you go to these conferences? Take me, you've been to Cape Town. Where else have you been to? Okay, I've been to Cape Town, I've been to Deben. Actually, even in, in here in Limpopo, I was yeah. attending like Bumarula Festival, yeah. Kidira the exhibitions. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So you leave the staff and then you are. Uh, get all the staff. Well, my employees, they were in charge of the business. Okay. Now I was always out here. Yeah, that's my other blunder. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, it happened when I was in Marula Festival. At Marula Festival, I, I, I fed it a week. It was for five days, staying. Yeah. When I Those came Those who back, don't know what Marula Festival, are you able to? Key event annually, but celebrated the cultural and economic uh, importance of Marula tree. Ah, yes, Panamoli Mpopo, Nerili Palabora by then. Yeah. Uh, five days. For five days. So, Reke Voa, Kikililur, I don't have stocks. If I dile Mara, the Chalte Nikana in my account, Nesi Naf Mara Stoko. Besides, I got like a check. I get from our account. I get a lot about eighty thousand. Then I had to ask my employees. What did they say? You know, we're looking for a reason or no? Now I left some of the money in the office. Somebody who happened to be here are only waiting. They say, "Well, we are alone. We're not going to leave for a while." There were a lot of stories. Then, okay, after that, my business. It was towards month end. Then I had to pay them salaries. I agree. There's no way in which I cannot pay them salaries and make mm -hmm. sure who did uh, what. Mm -hmm. Then who, who was there? Or, uh, so the stock or, was not yeah, there. Yeah. And when you calculate 80,000, it's gone. Yes, you got one week. In one week? Yes. Sure. Yes. Okay. okay. And there's no answers. You're asking, yeah. they're not giving. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, okay. I have to give them salaries, and after that, uh, during the month of order, it was, it was one of our customers, the regular customers, then I needed the product. I couldn't afford to supply. Yes, I had to go and borrow money or that order. While I was busy preparing that order, uh, our client uh, moved to our competitor, and he said he that loan. Oh, so you took a loan? Sure. Yes. Mm. Then I had to to the competitor Arega Mola, and then whatever. Okay, Rnali Luni, and uh, again, customer are uh, support mm. and uh, business value. Dilo Adisa Samarabot. Yes. Then okay, Ratra Pusha things are already been normally like the way they were before. Mm. Yes. And then Kimo uh, Iloring the second month refita. I had to take whatever Yama Felelo to pay them salaries and uh, Baba Bidi they quit, they had to quit. But then Baba I just asked them, well, guys, I'm I'm not able to afford or Patela. from eight people I had to remain with two people. So you moved from eight to two? Yes. You started with three, then yes, eight, eight yeah, and then and back, back to, to two. two. Yes, because of those uh, choices we did relaying and mm. our dita mm. that. So, okay, uh, after that, we, we had to go, uh, to, to go out of that, that place in Rirentile, yeah. yes, because I afforded. Then I had to go back home and use the garage to produce my products, mm. yes. Then, 
okay, all those things, uh, people are used to meet them, go attend uh, events with them. They didn't even know what I'm going through that uh, situation. Mm. Yeah. So it affected me. Okay, low self esteem. I have to always be give a gamma. Yes. So, okay. Then I can take a little. So then that thing, okay, those two employees, by law, you have them live on. You, uh, you are going to lose them and you are going to lose your business. And again, uh, what's going to happen? Are you going to look for a job now? Nah? And then, no, the time yellow, I've wasted it. Now, uh, level and now the reason why I started my business, I knew I don't want to be employed. I need to create jobs for others because I've got uh, the skills of creating different kind of products, mm. and I can transfer even skills to other people. Mm. Like when, yeah. Mm. Then, okay, I said no. I have to just do what. Uh, let me just start like. I, I can't go back to maybe say I'm, I'm asking for stall uh, where I was. Then I have to say, okay, let me just work. Uh, I, I started again small and I had to go to my customers. I, I managed to talk to them, explain, guys, I failed you. One, two, three happened. Yeah, then this, some they understood. Or, okay, all right. Now your product, because we, they were good, where are you? And stuff like that. So they gave me business again. Mm. Yeah, I started to have business again. And then I took things slowly, slowly, slowly. I pushed. Then I uh, said, no, I have to separate my life uh, from business. Mm. Yes. Uh, if my salary cannot afford or I must buy the latest iPhone, I can't buy that. Mm. Like one. Then that's how then I'm back into business mm. now. And then my business now is doing well. And I've got, I, I've employed uh, six yeah. more people. Yeah. Okay. So we started with three, we then went to eight, yes. we came mm. back to two. Yes. Now we are at at six. At and six. Now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now I'm somebody who has learned. I know. So you're no longer yeah. job trotting and yeah, uh, I know. Okay. Gadgets. Yes. All right. So let's go back a bit. Uh, these guys, you come. There's no stock. How do you feel? I mean, like, uh, do you think you are seeing stars when you when you saw that there's no stock? No, you, no, I, you know, I was so surprised because normally if I've got stock, I get, I could, I, I see from my phone or like Rabbi Rikisha, then it's that local. Yeah, true course, yeah. Yes. So and there was nothing. Kivile shocked Yamatomo. Yes. Then I because I trusted them. I asked for what's happening and. I, I never thought they would do something like that because when we first started, I knew if I'm helping them. I'm also helping myself. They won't do some something like that. Mm. Uh, so I was very touched, Nikili, disappointed, and Mara. I was very shocked. Okay. Uh, do you know who these people are? Did you manage to find out who are these people? I didn't because I was not there. No, no, I'm saying yes. after when you investigate. I no, I never found Rikimang, oh, but sell, two of my employees they opened their own business. They started okay. to sell similar things. Ah, yes. So, but I thought, or maybe Kimang. Are you sure it's not your stock that they were selling? I, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh. You know? Yeah, I'm not sure, but they suspect, but I can't just say. I accuse our guys. Okay. Yeah, it was you. So they, so they, they resigned they, without being fired. Yes. No. Mm. Something is okay. So they start a similar business to you. Yes, they started and that business, and then unfortunately, it means when they were stealing, if it is them, yeah. So uh, the time they were mixing their products, but the customer azanga ba like uh, like then their business ile afeleta i i Sure. Yeah. So you talk about. You employed relatives, and um, you know how did that work for you? Okay, my first employees, that group of eight, uh, most of them, it needed my friends, uh, relatives, people. By law, people because 
based on Gori, if I know you and you've got Mwanarinu Asabereki, yeah. you tell me then I no, there's space. Yeah. I want. yeah, I was not doing things I was, I was supposed to uh, advertise the interview. Eh? That's what I'm doing now. What the, the six people back in Alibona I advertised, Gaba interviewer, these are the right people for the job. And yeah. these are the people by Lord Gabanida in my business or about Levan to showing my business it grow. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the business is not working out. Mm. Mm. You have to go back home. Yes. The garage. Mm. So what do people say? Are you not worried that people are like, ah, oh, we No, they were talking because some they were saying, hey, what is Lebu? Hey, we are some mourners, mm. things like that. Mm. Some when you start to sell again, but hey, do you know this alone? You see, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, then, but, okay. Do you this alone? Paint me a picture. Uh, First day, you open the garage and you say, we're going to work here. Yeah. How, d how did you feel? No, I felt like I'm a, I'm a failure. Mm. Yeah, but I said... Ish. No, 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 not by... Uh, let's do that. <laughs> yeah, okay, I, f right. I felt like I, I was a failure. Yeah. And then uh, Mara, because you I can't... You have to clean and move things mm, out. Mm. And I, I, I can't lose my business schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I have to fight for that business. I get it. I'm the one who started it, yeah. and I know really what do I want to yeah. do. Yeah. Yes, yeah. then that's why I said no. Even if I'm in the garage, I don't mind. As long as I'm going to create and produce that yes. good product, yes. then I'm, I will. So you tell your staff yes. members, we're going back to the garage. Yes. So it must be like, hey, are we still going to have a work here? In two yeah, months? they were afraid. Or, oh, Lorena, maybe next month, but Lorena, yeah, because yeah. people are. Yeah. But am I, yeah. yes. Mm. Yeah. But luckily, like then we are able to make profit. We use them to sell our products. Mm. Yes. Nice, mm. nice. So, you know, what has been, I mean, your lesson when you look at the whole thing? Um, what would you say has been one of the well, The first lesson going... Uh, Actually, as an entrepreneur, entrepreneurs, we must have financial discipline. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if you can be able to respect your business and the finance their business, yeah. Mm. And what's more, if uh, your business grow, it's all to share with yourself. Mm. Or you are a different person in your business, ki a different oh. uh, thing. Mm. Yes. Mm. Like one, then okay. key, key, the lesson that I've learned, and another lesson, key, you're not okay, I have to make sure I hire the right people for the job. Yeah. And the other one, I must always have systems, proper systems and processes in place. Yeah. Or even if I'm not around, if the business grow, if somewhere there should be cameras. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What's happening in my business? Yeah. Yes. Where's the business now? Currently, yes, you're employing about six people. Uh, have you gotten more enough clients back? You know, uh, where is the business at the moment? Now I've got enough. Uh, I, I've I've got clients back. Uh, some some were my old customers. Some are new customers. And then again, yeah, I've got uh, specialty stores. Is the shops that I use. One is in Mangueng. Uh, I've got another one at Radikali. I've got another one in Liwahomu. Then where individuals can just go and see our products. They can buy our products from those shops. Mm, mm. Yes, and I've got distributors in different uh, provinces. Mm, mm. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, my, my, I mean, you started from a qualified engineer, unemployed. You decided you're going to create your own job. And you didn't even think this thing is going to grow. You started with, what, two, eight, no, back to two, then six, yeah. right? What has been, I'm sure there's been that moment to say, uh -uh, where's that CV? Yeah, there, <laughs> there, were, there were times where I would say, hey, Mara, why do I let myself suffer like this? Mm. Hey, because I can just go and look for a job and start working. But there was this thing of, okay, uh, I looked for my family. Yeah. Yes, or okay. Most of us were not employed. Mm. My community, mm. people were not employed. Mm. Young graduates, you find them on the streets. They're doing nothing. They're not having jobs. So, okay, if I go and 
uh, get employment, then I'll get a salary. I had to be a breadwinner f uh, where everybody's looking, uh, waiting for your salary mm. month end. Mm. Uh, then you have to, oh, when you get money, then you have to just say, okay, let me give my mom, let me give my sister. Then you share. That is not life. Then I wanted to create something. Or uh, let me create something. Then I can transfer skills to them. I can create jobs for them. I can yeah. create jobs for co the community. Yeah. Then I wanted to do something for people yeah, yeah and myself. Okay. I, yeah, it's, it's much better than going to look for a job. Awesome. Yes. And, I mean, would you still go to Cape Town and Deben and, you know, and... You know what, uh, now we've got this thing, uh, if I want to attend Zoom meeting, I can yeah. just attend at home, yeah. yeah. Okay. Where I'm needed in person, yeah, yeah and I, I can afford to yeah. go there, yeah. then I will go there. If I can't afford, then I won't go. Okay. But if I can afford, I can win. The luxury things, I know my business will grow. My salary, if it can afford or get like that latest iPhone, I will buy from my salary, yeah. not buy from the yeah. business. Yes. But how do you, how do you with Stand the pressure of your peers are driving big cars, they are going to this, checking in these big places. How do you, if you were to advise an entrepreneur who's starting their business, mm. how, how do they avoid that pressure? Um, not to, the peer pressure. I, I think uh, as an individual, you have to just look at yourself. Or I'm myself, I'm not the next person. If the next person is driving that big machine, uh, it is their time. Mm. You just tell yourself, my time will come. Mm. Yeah, focus on what you are building. If you believe in what you are building and if what you are building is good, then it will definitely make you to look like your peer eventually. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Lebukhang <laughs> Ramoneta, thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's quite a... I, I can just imagine you come back and there's 80,000 missing in the business. <laughs> like, now I can shut the business immediately. Like, no, it's game over. But you kept on going. And uh, thank you so much. And keep up the amazing work. Oh, thank thank you. you so much. Can we give a round of applause? Thank you. Uh,